Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DOLV. We'll take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. While this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where this green line annotation is coming from. And I want to get things updated here as the price uh, is at a pretty important level uh, because things could start to shift and uh, you know the bears are on you know the edge of really trying to gain momentum. I'm still gonna give it a, a neutral type uh, feel just because uh, you know the price is still hanging around this key area. What is this key area? Well, at this point, it's really twofold. The first fold comes from this level of support that I've talked about in multiple videos, uh, 0035. The second fold comes via the purple line here, which is the 50 period simple moving average. Again, another level that I've talked about. And you can kind of see the stars have aligned and both of these levels are essentially sitting right around the same area. And technically speaking, yes, the price did close below it, but it's still well within the range. So I mean, supports, resistance levels are not exact specific prices. They are, you know, ranges if you wanna just kind of picture it as like, as that. And I would still consider that, you know, within the range. But the thing to keep an eye on going forward now is, is the price gonna separate further from this key zone of support that we've discussed? And that's really the, the easiest way to gauge, are the bears gaining more momentum or are the bulls finally starting to stabilize and potentially you know, find some more strength again? Um, and that's really the, the, the very black and white way to look at this is how does the price react in regards to 0035? Again, the further and further away it gets from 0035 to the downside, that just represents bearish momentum picking up more and more strength. Now, obviously, if the price all of a sudden just starts to go sideways and then explodes upwards, well, at that time, what does that tell us about the bearish momentum? The bears are losing momentum because now the price has started to go sideways and is heading back upwards. So 0035, if you haven't kind of connected those dots, definitely a very important level of uh, support going forward. And it's one of those kind of uh, quote unquote storybook points that's really gonna give us quite a bit of insight into, in terms of what's going on from a bullish and bearish perspective. So uh, we'll see what happens with it, but 0035, definitely very important. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, and by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.